Do you have astigmatism? Do you see more than one dot? Do you see a smear? Do you see star bursting? It might not be the red dot site, it could be you. And if it is, is there anything you can do about it? Hi, I'm Tina from Target Tamers and today I'm going to cover astigmatism and red dot sites to answer these questions and see if there's anything you can do about it. But before we jump into solutions, let's quickly go over what astigmatism is and other similar conditions that can also result in seeing that dot distortion. What is astigmatism? Essentially, due to the length of the eyeball and the shape of either the cornea or the lens, the eye's inability to bend and refract light to a single focal point on the retina produces blurry or fuzzy vision. So when used with red dot sites, that dot is no longer round, but it could look like two dots, three dots, a cluster of dots, a squiggly line, a comet, smudge, or a star. The point is, you're not seeing a crisp aiming dot, and it's distracting enough that you don't have confidence in your point of aim. Aim. Is a dot distortion only experienced by those with astigmatism? No. So astigmatism is a type of refractive error condition in the same category with hyperopia, farsightedness, myopia, nearsightedness, and presbyopia, an age-related near vision condition. So I thought I had astigmatism for a long time because I struggled to see a single round dot. I finally went to the eye doctor and found out that I was farsighted. So you can have and see dot distortion even if you don't have astigmatism. Now, if you're still experiencing dot anomalies, even with your uh, up-to-date prescription glasses and contact lenses, you should also keep in mind that other vision conditions like uh, cataracts and macular degeneration will also impair your ability to use red dot sites. So everyone's degree of error will be different, resulting in varying experiences with the red dot and how it's seen. So why does this happen with red dot sites? Okay, so we lump reflex prismatic and holographic sites all under the same red dot site umbrella, right? Typically because of that telltale illuminated red dot aiming point. But in fact, they each work differently. So reflex sites, which I will refer to from here on out as red dot sites, tend to be the primary cause of concern. So reflex sites use a color meeting mirror and an LED. So it's like a curved piece of glass angled towards you with special coatings and the dot that you're seeing is actually a reflection of the LED that is projected onto the glass. Astigmatic eyes don't like this. Where normal eyes will take all of that light and focus it to a single point focal point on the retina, yours and mine don't. Is it the red dot site or is it you? To determine who's really at fault here, let's go ahead and run through a couple tests. The first is to take a picture. As simple as it sounds, it's a really fast and effective method to get an immediate answer. The camera lens doesn't have astigmatism or refractive error condition, right? So it should be seeing that dot the way it is. So go ahead and take a picture of the dot through the red dot site. If it looks like how it's supposed to, then the red dot site is fine. If it doesn't, well, let's get a second an opinion get a friend or multiple friends that have a buddy look through the red dot site and report what it is that they see as you can conduce this isn't a foolproof method of determining dot quality but at least it's free and you're doing your due diligence right use your backup eye insights so take a look at the red dot site through your AR15 sites. The rear site should be an aperture site as the goal is to uh, reduce the amount of light that reaches your eye. So restrict the additional light rays and you also reduce the additional focal points in the eye. By doing this, it should help you see what the dot should look like, it should clear right up. So if it looks like how it's supposed to look like, the site is fine. If it doesn't, well, let's try one more method. Rotate the red dot sight, so give it a spin. So take a look through the red dot sight, keep your focus on that dot and turn it around. Keep your focus on it. However you see that dot distortion, it should do one of two things. If it changes orientation as a result of you physically rotating the optic, then it's a red dot sight. Now if it maintains its position, regardless of physical rotation of the sight, then it's you. At this point, you should have a great idea of whether it's the red dot site or if it's you. And if it's the red dot site, honestly, I know it's a pain to go through the hassle of returning a product for repair or replacement, but in this case, it's warranted. Now, if it turns out that it's you, let's go over some things that you can do about it. 
turn down the illumination, less is more. This is a pretty standard recommendation that's likely even stated in the instructional pamphlet that came with your red dot site. Too much illumination will, especially when inappropriately used for the conditions, will exaggerate that dot distortion, even for those that have perfect eyesight. So tame the illumination and see how it affects your ability to see the dot. I know that for me, while it may not entirely improve the way that I see the dot, it does make it so that it is less distracting. Wear polarized sunglasses. So there's actually something to this. Polarized sunglasses have a chemical treatment that allows it to block light. So while it's allowing light to pass through that's coming in from one direction, it's also absorbing light that's coming in from all other directions. So what does this mean for you, for you and using a red dot sight? It just means that while you're seeing things in a slightly darker shade, it should clear up and sharpen up your sight picture. So depending on the degree of your condition, it could completely clean up that red dot for you or at least tame the distortion that you're seeing. As a side note, polarized sunglasses also reduce eye strain. So your eyes won't have to work as hard behind a red dot with your sunglasses on than they would without. It's not bad seeing green. Try out green illumination and see how that works for you. Green is the easiest color to see during the day and in the distance. And it's one of the colors that we see more sharply and clearly than any other color. So it has to do with cones and rods in the eyes, right? Cones for processing wavelengths and what we perceive as color and rods for light sensitivity and night vision. So the science behind that, we can see why there, there are gold and amber illuminated reticles that are hitting the market. So why so many red red dots then? Well, red is a color that we see really easily, right? And with the longer wavelengths and less energy, batteries can go a lot further with red illumination. So green red dot sites may be a little bit more expensive than their red illuminated counterparts, but if it helps to clear up some of that dot distortion, then it's well worth it. Get magnification, try a magnifier. So this won't be the end all solution for um, everyone, especially for those with astigmatism, but if you already own a magnifier, then it's worth a try. So a magnifier has a diopter that allows you to compensate for focus, usually up to plus or minus two or three. So if your vision requires more than that, then this won't be the complete solution for you. So if I'm using a magnifier and red dot sight combo without my glasses, I'll go ahead and use the diopter to compensate for my far sightedness and then I've got the best of both worlds. Now why wouldn't I always wear my glasses? Well some red dots I use I can see perfectly fine without them and others I can tolerate the dot distortion that I'm seeing. Now when I put on my glasses, I get a better image of the dot, but I'm sacrificing my distance vision. It becomes blurry. So I'd rather have a clear image of the target and what's down range, even if that means I'm seeing a slightly misshapen dot. Now when the dot distortion is too intolerable or too distracting or it's affecting my precision, I'll throw on the magnifier behind the red dot sight and then you know, adjust it for my fast sightedness and I've got the best of both worlds. Clear vision up close and clear vision in the distance. Buy a prismatic red dot sight. So we know that a reflex sight uses a curved lens and an LED, but a prismatic sight uses a prism in between the objective lens and the eyepiece lens. So the additional step in focusing light, the dual illumination, the glass etched reticle, and often the added magnification of prismatic sights can help to mitigate the effects of astigmatism. Now, even with one times, well, no power uh, prismatic sights, the fact that you're looking at a physical glass etched illuminated reticle may just be what your eyes need to help keep a red dot sight on your AR. Now some examples of prism sights, you have the famous one, the Trijicon ACOG, and then there's the Vortex Spitfire AR prism sight. But many well-known manufacturers from Sig Sauer, Athlon, uh, Primary Arms, even to the popular entry level Monstrum brand make prismatic sights. Try a holographic sight. So this is not going to be the best advice ever because holographic sights, i.e. EOTech and the Vortex AMG are very expensive. And they too project an illuminated reticle. So they're not necessarily considered astigmatic proof sights, but they do incorporate a holographic reflection grading that helps to keep stray light to a minimum with polarizing filter performance. Now the main gripe is usually cost, very expensive. And the second, 
thing is that they people complain about having a fuzzy reticle. Well, the fuzziness is normal because it's made up of thousands of pixels, so it does look pixelated, especially when you focus on it. But that's not the way you're supposed to use the site. You're supposed to focus on the target and then that reticle sharpens up. This is the correct way to use a holographic site as is using all red dot sites for that matter. To summarize, test it out. Is it the red dot site or is it you? The camera trick is a free, fast and effective way to see what that dot should actually look like. But you also have your backup irons, have a buddy look through them and you can observe the dot while you're rotating the optic. Now if you've determined that your red dot site is fine and it is you, an appointment with the eye doctor is highly encouraged. Now for the rest of you, go ahead and tame down that illumination, throw on some polarized sunglasses, and remember to focus on the target and not the dot. Now options to consider on your next purchase or your next replacement would be a prismatic sight and green illumination. But you might also want to consider testing out a magnifier or a holographic sight and seeing how those work for you. Now remember to try to always test out before you buy and take your glasses or your contact lenses with you. Now if you're still seeing some dot distortion, ask yourself, is it tolerable or is it too distracting? Or do you need an up-to-date prescription or a follow-up appointment with your doctor? So if red dot sites in any of their forms do not work for you, you should probably consider an LPVO, a low power variable optic. So you still have that non-magnification performance at one times, illumination and its optical components shouldn't trigger your astigmatism. So hopefully you've gleaned a tip or two on how to make the most of your red dot site when you have astigmatism. The written version to this video is in a link down below in that article recommendations for prismatic sites, holo sites and LPVOs are provided that might be worth investigating if astigmatism is interfering with your setup. So thank you so much for joining and tuning in with me today. Don't forget to like, subscribe and get outside.